Hey guys, in a previous video I showed you how to make this cube and a short recap. Um, so we, we made this cube and then we added some some defects, here are some scratches and the idea is to render this and also render the ground truth mask. So eventually we'll use this to train neural networks that can automatically detect scratches. Now in this video, uh, I want to show you something more advanced. So instead of this cube, I'm going to show you how to make um, this helmet. And it will basically be the same workflow. We'll be just adding uh, a couple of different defects. And here the functionality is the same. If you toggle for the ground truth mode, you actually get a ground truth mask. I'll, I'll also show you how to make this completely, well, not completely yet. We also have to drive a uh, variation on the scratches on the visor, but this will be a helmet from different perspectives with different dents, different scratches, and eventually also different scratches on the visor. However, I first want to show you an addition I made to the script. So right now, this, the script can handle uh, multiple objects with multiple materials. So here you have a cube with two materials and a cone with one material. First of all, let's put this in a separate uh, collection and then rename one of them target. And then we can run our script. And now we can select the collection, we can generate the components, and we can update the materials. So right now, the materials inside of this collection will have a mode switcher node. And you can see this, so here in the materials, it has automatically put a mode switcher node at the end of the chain. And this has also happened for the rest. So what I've just shown you uh, will make your life a little bit easier when your model grows a little bit more complex, uh, when you are dealing with more materials, more objects. So let's dive into how I made this. Uh, first, let's run the script. Here we have the script. And now we can see the same thing as before. So at the end of this, uh, this video, I'll also want to show you how we can drive uh, the visor damage with the sample variation. And I hope it will be a little bit more clear how to do that. So in the shading tab, um, actually more of the, the shading nodes are contained in this node group, but I've pasted it also here so we can visualize a little bit better what is happening. So first of all, let's take a look at the dents. So the dents are added on top. And I basically do this with um, a Voronoi texture. And that will be uh, masked either on the left or the right, depending on this value. So when I, when I change this, it will flip. That's mostly because of this cosine function right here. And then I will add a radial onto that just to get uh, ni uh, like a nice, uh, more, more or less round bump. And that will um, ultimately get fit to the bump, to the bump nodes here. And then we have another output and this will go to the ground truth output. Oh yeah, this is not um, related to, to this but do this. Um, so here you have the paint scratches. This is, re this is really simple. You just uh, drive a noise texture, which drives the Voronoi. And then we can add it with, we can uh, vary it with this. And then there are some, some, some grease spots, mostly coming from the front because that's 
uh, yeah, your driving direction. And these will not be uh, visible in the ground truth. And here is uh, a base paint. And they're basically all um, fed into this principal shader. Okay, let's remove these. Look at our original mode switcher. Okay, here we have it. So this input driver will vary the colors between one and zero. And this will basically vary your, your scratches. So as a final thing, I would like to show you how I would um, vary the scratches on the visor. So let's go to the visor. And I already put a value here. And I found that uh, rotating the X and then mapping it to the Musgrave texture that masks it, that already kind of gives a pretty nice result, right? See? So it will stay at the front and I'll just turn around. Okay. Um, we so we need to we need to actually drive this with this button. So the way we do that is we copy this data path. Then we go to our script, and we then go to the function that um, that runs the variation here. So run variation, and here we can already see the two value nodes for the visor. So these two correspond to uh, these two input drivers. But now we want to also do it for the visor. So we're just going to add another line. Basically, the way you find this is you go to the data API and then go to materials, visor, then you go to the node tree, then you go to the nodes, and basically here, here you have your value. You just need to see if this corresponds, right? So we, have the no we already have it up until the node tree, so what we want is we copy this, we change it this to visor, add dot here, and then we're gonna drive this with a uniform uh, random, and we are gonna do uh, we're gonna vary this between this and two times pi. Okay, save it, run it, so it's pushed to the to the actual program, and now we should be able to see also variations of the front scratches. Great. Let's check it for the ground truth. All right. Basically, this is all set up to to crunch out uh, some samples. So let's drive. Uh, oh, not not drive, but uh, let's output here. Okay, let's generate it. We can check our our terminal. So here you can see the rendered image on the left and the ground truth masks on the right. And we can verify if they correspond, which they seem to be doing just fine. Okay. Um, first of all, I will be uploading this model and the UV holographic script uh, on my GitHub page. So you can try it out. And then in the next video, uh, we will use this data set that I will generate some more, some more pictures. We will use it to actually train a, un a neural network, probably UNet. And then we will see if the if the function has generalized to the actual world. So I'm hoping to find some pictures of damaged helmets, or I'll see what I can, f I'll see what's out there. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll validate the model. Thanks.